Bert. Hi, I'm Bert, and I wear a hat. And I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite things from Hasbro. They invented one of the coolest products ever thought of. A completely original idea. Cars. Toy cars. And as you can see, I heavily invested into these toy cars. These are nitro cars. This is my collection of rare nitro cars. I'm disappointed because I don't think they're being produced anymore and I don't understand why people didn't take to this ingenious product. People were throwing around that Hot Wheels from Mattel were possibly more compelling, but I say fooey to that. These are really where it's at. You've got the plastic wheels, plastic underside, and then a foam top. These are safe to throw at people. I don't know what everyone was smoking when they missed out on these epic creations. Oh man, I dropped one. How many cars do I have? I think I have 52. Either that or that's how many cards are in a deck. Look at all these cars. Are any of them rare? Well, why would I collect them if they weren't rare? I love the blue camo on some of these cars. Look at that. It's like Elite 2.0 and Classic Elite merged together for a car. Isn't that crazy? And look, I've even got multiple versions. They may even be slightly different because the camo is slightly different. That's amazing. Here's another one. I feel special. But wait, let's... Oh, bye. Let's take it up a notch. Here's an actual camo. Ooh, can you even see the car? I know, it's hard to tell. But also you'll notice that compared to this previous car, there's this big uh, jet engine on the front. That's a smart design. And this one's more of a race car. Or they're both race cars. I don't care. This is a very unique design. Yellow wheels seem to be pretty familiar to these kinds. I've seen ones with red wheels. Those are the super rare ones. But this one with red wheels isn't anything special because it's the truck. And this is also a truck, but it's got blue wheels and a red body. Ooh. Barney the Dinosaur also has a Nerf car. That's pretty cool. A lot of uh, stuff going on in the back here. Yeah, a lot of cooling. Really cool. Very spongy. Here's another version of that engine race car, but in black. There's like the Batmobile. Except checkered green. I don't know what that is. This one's a little more boring. Or is it incredibly rare? Look at those red wheels. Boy, do those pop. Look at that. That's cool. That's something you find on a real car. A lot of these standard orange and yellow ones aren't super rare, but I keep them because the more cars you have in your collection, the higher the value. And I do like having a valuable collection. Otherwise, what's the point? in collecting. Now you're probably wondering how do I enjoy these? Do I just flick them around and send them to where they want to go? Do I step on them and pretend like I have a pair of roller skates and then trip and fall down the stairs? A great idea and one that has been tried before. I do actually have a nitro blaster. This is my throttle shot blitz. It's the only nitro blaster I currently own. So all you do is you put the car in you put the car in, you prime it, you put the car in. You can't fire it if it's off the ground though because this tab in the back needs to be pushed. But you can obviously hold it really easily. What that looks like on a surface is just like this. Hee <laughs> Gosh, I don't know what I would do without my nitro car collection. Really looking forward to when they revamp this series. I'll be ready. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do with all these nitro cars.